This is the story of how I met Chad Zuber and how we came to Fire Pottery together and a live stream that never really happened and about this firing we did where I fired these Salado Polychromes and a couple of Chad's pottery as well. If you're only interested in the firing, I'm going to write the instructions for the firing on the screen. But in the audio portion, I'm going to tell you the story of how I came to fire pottery with Chad. I first became aware of him because he left some comments on some of my videos and Instagram posts. And then I started looking at what he was doing and I really liked it because he was doing stuff I was interested in. Edible wild plants, adobe architecture, pottery, you know, all kinds of things that were interesting to me. So, you know, by comparison, I've got like 40 to 50,000 subscribers to Chad's 2 million, right? So in trying to grow my channel, I thought maybe I would make him something and send it to him and then he could give me a shout out maybe on a video or something. Early this summer, I said about making a big mug that I thought I would then finish and mail to him. At some point, I mentioned to him that I was making the mug and he said that I could come up and visit him at his camp. I thought that would be really cool. And so I told him I'd do that. But a couple of things happened. First of all, the mug didn't get fired for a long time because we had fire restrictions early in the summer. And then later we had a really good monsoon season. And so it was wet and wet and wet. And there wasn't a lot of opportunities to fire pottery between fire danger and then everything being wet. The other thing that happened was my truck was broken. My transmission went out this summer. And so my truck just sat in the yard for months. And so I had no way to get up to where Chad's camp is. I never got my pot fired for the longest time. And the whole idea of visiting him just kind of died. Well then, come like September, Chad mentions that he'd like to come out to Tucson and see me. I'd already finished his mug by that point and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to give it to him. But besides that, he said maybe we could fire pottery. So I planned to fire these Salado Polychromes while he was up there. And he showed up with these two pots that he wanted to fire. This canteen with a face on it and this bowl. These were made from his local clay up by his camp. What I didn't understand, because I'm kind of dense that way, is he wanted to do a live stream of the firing, which would have been awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't understand that. And the place I picked to fire has really bad cell phone coverage. And so there was no way we could do a live stream from there. You know, but each of us had like one bar on our phones. So it just, it never happened. But Chad had actually scheduled the live stream. So he had all these fans who were waiting for this live stream to happen, and it never did. And so this is that firing. So I thought I'd put together this video and just kind of show you the firing and talk you through it, you know, as though it was the live stream. And not that Chad's here with me or anything, uh, but I do have some video of him, and, and this was our firing together. So you know when you meet somebody who's kind of famous, even if they're just, you know, a little famous, you have big expectations and it often doesn't live up to it, right? I mean, you might think a lot of somebody because you've read their book or you've watched their YouTube videos and then you meet them and you go, ah, you know, he's not that great of a person or he's not that nice of a guy or, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that's the case here, but, I, you know, I'm saying that's often the case. With Chad, I, I really wasn't sure what to expect because he doesn't talk a lot on his videos. So, um... You know, his personality to me was a little elusive, right? Uh, here's this guy uh, in a loincloth who's doing survivalist stuff and, and not really, you know, talking about anything except how much he likes prickly pears, that, that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, he turned out to be a really nice guy and, uh, and we got along really good. So we fired the pottery, that all came out great. And then he came back to my house, we talked some more, we ended up going out to dinner together. Uh, we talked some more. We came back to my house and uh, I know it was, you know, nine or 10 o'clock before he actually uh, went home. And he has a long drive from my place to his camp just because, uh, you know, we had a really great time talking. And, you know, you know what the, it's like when you talk, you can talk shop in, in different ways, right? Because Chad is not just a successful YouTuber, uh, you know, so we could talk about YouTube things. But he's also a fairly accomplished potter, as you can see from the pots that he's firing here. So uh, just to talk about the pots, he had this bowl and he has this canteen, both of which are really cool. And they're kind of micaceous, they're kind of glittery, there's mica in his clay. And then I had these ones that were Salado ware. So Salado stuff is painted with organic paint and it has to be fired just so, or the organic paint burns out and you're left with not very good designs. 
So this was a little bit of a hybrid firing. It was a little different, uh, you know, in that I was trying to nurse along those organic paints, but also give his pottery the, you know, the, the heat it deserved in order to fire correctly. The big pot of mine, that's what I call the football pot. Well, that's a replica of a pot that's at the museum at Eastern Arizona College. And I made that for the Salado Challenge during the summer when fire restrictions were in place and I wasn't able to fire it. So it was nice to get out and get this fired. It sat around my house all summer. And the cylinder jar, that was something I wanted to bring to the kiln conference to drink out of. I was in a hurry to get it fired because the conference was like in a week or so at the point when we did this firing. So the good news is I got my truck fixed. I think probably this fall, if I get the opportunity, I'll go up and visit Chad at his camp and maybe make a video there with him. Maybe we'll fire pottery or do something else. But it would be a good opportunity. It'd be fun to get out and get up there and visit his camp. Now some of the footage I have here in this video is actually Chad's footage. He took video of the firing, I took video of the firing, and then when we got back to my house, he dumped all his on my computer and told me I could use it. So uh, I really appreciate the footage that he shot and I wanna thank him for helping me out. I thank him for coming down to Tucson and firing with me and uh, for donating the footage. He's a much better photographer, videographer than I am. He has a background in photography before he even became a YouTuber. Whereas me, when I started making YouTube videos, I had to learn all this stuff. So uh, I'm still learning as far as that's concerned. Anyways, it was really awesome to meet him and to, um, you know, fire pottery together. I just want to show you wiping off the ash on there. So this is all ash on that organic paint. And when you wipe that ash off, you got nice black designs underneath there, see? So it's real amazing when you look at it and you think, oh, look, it's gray or it's blue. And then you wipe the ash off and it turned out pretty good. One problem, uh, it was sitting on a stone that exploded in the firing and kind of blew a chunk out of the rim. Other than that, turned out real good. I thank you for watching today. I'll catch you next time.